together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Sleeping on the couch. Huh?
today is the day everyone we're playing today. We've been preparing for this moment for 25 years. We're ready. You're ready. Americans is waiting for us. So let's get out of there, the overseer. You're invited. Countdown to reclaim. Claim claimation day. Can I not take it, anything? This is my room. You have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. I know, right? Just know that Ross Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. When you hear this, Hello. I've been gone for several hours. At last! Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. Signing off. Message repeats in 24 hours. System on. Do we know anything about that? Outside. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. This is my home. I don't it is endearing to hear how wonderful a job myself and the others have done maintaining the vault for these many months. But the food's all run out, and it's time to take what you've learned and use it. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! Stay stocked with medicines, and don't forget to use them. Thank you. No creature comforts out there, sir. You want it? You build it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, 
I'll make home. There we go.
his partner don't want to come over here and help me. Well, at least we got a gun. Hey, partner. Come join me. Uh, you don't want to join the team? No or yes? Help you out, partner. We should work together. Team up. Team up. Come on, team up. How about it? Huh? Bye bye. See you later, partner. You stay safe up there. Okay. Okay, some supplies though. No one knows out there in the boat, but I'll see you. You have a good day. untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Any idea what those two are doing? Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. You sound like you think they're up to something. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. I see. I mean, when I was in that vault, it seems like... messes them up, but I will find peace to this world, and when I do, I'll find it. What's been going on out here? Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. 
But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Have you seen those, dear? Oh, I have! Uh, here! The Hollowtain! It had been so long, I'd completely forgotten I had it! If you see her, do give her my best. Careful out there, sir. There's got to be a way in there. Maybe. Wait, a vault dweller? H hey there! Hello. Hey. Whoa, whoa! Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? It's probably empty now. Doubt anyone's still in there. Son of a bitch, we missed our chance. We really needed that. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps? And he said that inside that vault is the, you know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. The big one? The big one. What, what are you talking about? You know, the thing that brought everyone back. Treasure. The treasure out here. I think you may have gotten some of that. But I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? You wouldn't have a spare weapon, would you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. What else can you tell me about this treasure? Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the Wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. What can you tell me about? About Appalachia? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after. Well, these... Things showed up. The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. What's the world like out there? We both came over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, 
They got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. Be Watch yourself out there. Talk to Lacey. She got us into this. Hate this misty, foggy crap. Ah, oh, who's this? You gotta keep a tab on Raider whereabouts. makes it harder to see.
What's that over there? Hey. It's time to turn over a new leaf. <sighs> Restore this land of glory.
Lady, I will paint the walls of you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sweetheart, I think you must be sick. Because pointing a gun at me in my own bar is a... Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you... Hey! Who the hell are you? None of your damn business! What's going on is that this one seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. And I will happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours! Treasure's our crew's business, not yours. And unless I start getting answers right now, I'm gonna start shooting people. Yeah, lady. Listen to the smart man. Spill and we never have to see each other again. As happy as never seeing your ugly mug again would make me. I can't just magic up information I don't know. Look, she doesn't know where it is, okay? So you just, you should just get out. Crew, are you hired? Hire it! You serious? You got a gun in your face and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? Oh, you'll fit in real good. We're camped at West Virginia Lumber, up north. I'll take you there. But first... I told you it was gonna end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. What the? You, you, you just killed a man because he had an opportunity. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. What was that all about? He said something. I died. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Overseer, huh? So you must be the one. No, I haven't seen her, but I have heard her. My people found a tape she left behind for one of her dwellers at that camp across the way, though it is a bit out of date now. Maybe you're the one she left it for. I'm happy to hand it over. Though, now that we've drifted naturally onto the topic of helping one another, maybe there's something you could do for me in return. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. I like to hear this plan. Only seems fair. 
The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Oh, darling. Um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tack. Just give me one second. Uh, okay, I think I'll just... Uh, I just want you to know... Architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, power it, let the radio transmitter in there bring them in. Then track down their boss and convince him to leave us alone. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Sure, I know how to build structures. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Now, you'll probably need to pick up some materials, too. Wood, electronics, copper wiring and the like. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. And here, that overseer tape. Sounds like she set up that camp across the way so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a refresher. <laughs> to hear vault tech actually took care of some of their people you hear these rumors right about them just throwing folks to the wolves here's some rations and a fancy suit good luck well don't you worry that smooth little face of yours you are in good company now because around here we look after one another now what can i do for you Allergies. Learn the hard way. I can't stand within 10 feet of a strawberry. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a joke. Truth is, I was outside on doomsday. Now, you see, I drove security, and I was coming back from a pickup in the truck when I feel this rumble, and then quiet, then a whole lot less quiet, and the truck was hit with this wind, and it was like someone dropped a hurricane on it. I can hear it battering the truck. Bang, 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 like it's got a grudge against it. Lock the door and into the back, and then, bang, I wake up, man, and it's crazy. Somehow, in the back of the truck, alive and kicking. And all it cost me was my skin and any opportunity for someone liking me for anything other than my lovely personality. And that was the day I became, well, 
they call us schools, not the most flattering name, but still beats being vaporized. You killed that man. I did, and your eyes still working, kids. That's the reason you're bringing up the obvious. Look, the world's hard now. Betty will learn that lesson real fast. What's it like being a I mean, it's got its advantages. Main one is that radiation rolls off me like water off a duck's ass. Can stride through a blast zone like it's a spring breeze. Also, means I can survive in situations that would turn a normal person into a TV dinner. The major downside? Well, shit, you're looking at it, right? Head to toe disfiguration. There's also, well, you might have seen them. Not all ghouls are sane. Not sure how it happens, why some ghouls lose their minds and others don't. But ever since I turned, there's always this nagging feeling just at the back of my mind that I will have to feast on humans! Ser seriously? Nothing? Shit, I thought it was funny. Overall, though, being a ghoul makes bag. Can't say I'd recommend it as a lifestyle choice. Don't have one. I'm an independent operator. When these folks need a hand or got an errand that involves running into radiation, they come to me. Rats? Yeah, they don't bother me anymore. In exchange, Dutch just lets me drink. Really, about the best sort of setup. Of course, sitting around looking like hamburger ain't all I do. Plans work out, I'll have all the drinking money I could ever need. But that ain't what you came here to talk about. Was there something else? Listen, friend, you happen to be talking to the exact right person to fix your predicament. But if I'm going to help you, I want something in return. You want someone dead, just give me a... Whoa, 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 not even remotely what I meant. Now, nah, you're going to help me get rich. See, the folks who made it big off the gold rush, they weren't the prospectors. They were the folks that sold them their shovels. Now, I don't do shovels. What I collect is knowledge. I can go all sorts of places you folks with your rad sucking skin can't. So, I'm selling what I've got between my ear holes, and you're gonna test it for me. I've made these hollow tips. Now, this sets all the info I dug up about that camp doohickey you bolters got. All I'm asking is you give them a listen and let me know what you think. You will? Oh, thank you. I mean, <clears throat> thanks. Just come back once you've taken. Now, is there anything else you wanted to chat about? So what's your job? Don't have one. I'm an independent rat. In exchange, really? Well, uh, allergies. Defensibility in proximity to your surroundings. Could that clip edge be used to protect your flank? You bet your chops it could. Once you found the perfect spot, it's time to move on to the best part of working with your cat. Construction! Construction can be an intricate process, so a steady hand and an eye for detainment. <clears throat> details. Damn, I had to get that one off. 
and I for details are a must. You should take a moment to familiarize yourself with the camp's patented intuitive construction interface. But don't worry, we'll cover construction in gory detail in the next of Headmaster Mort's edutapes. So long. step of construction is... Wait, what? Is that soda? Soda's red, right? Wait, oh. Well. <clears throat> electing. First, electing what you're going to build. Once you've made that election, it's just three easy questions to construction success. One, is the location I've selected going to work for an object of the size and shape I'm building? Two, have I read the schematics thoroughly? And three, do I have all the required materials too? Who the hell bled on my nose? Saw! If I find out with you, you're gonna bleed on. What, whatever. Just finish work. Short on materials? Loot the local junkyard, mills, and warehouses for parts. Missing a critical schematic? Your local vendors might have just what you're looking for. And on that note. This has been Headmaster Mort's Edutapes, Edutapes. See you again soon. Solomon, so help me, this better be dead. Where are you hiding? Welcome back, lovely listeners, to Headmaster Mort's final tape in the camp series. Powering your camp. After listening to the second team, you should already be well trained, enough to build a generator. If you haven't yet done so, I'll wait. I do, 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 ah. I do, 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 ah, screw it. All right, I, I'll assume you nailed it. Now, generators are the heart of your camp power system. Once your generator is built, all you need to do is connect it to the object that needs power with the wire. Though, be aware, your wire will need a clear, unobstructed path to establish and maintain a direct connection. Some objects, however, like simple light bulbs, do not require a direct connection. All you need to do is run a wire from your generator to a power pylon. Place the power pylon near your lights, then voila! Let there be light! Well, this has been Headmaster Mort's Camp Construction Holiday. Hello? Tapes. Please check back with What's Headmaster up? Mort himself at The Wayward to learn uh, more about his other I'm, exciting I'm, courses, I'm including... Mort, can I salute this? No, and I'm off. Mutations. So, uh, Am I a uh, monster uh, now? Uh, and thanks again for listening. Ha! Okay, Damn. sure. N um, just send me your name and I'll add you. Yeah, yeah, send it to me on message. Alright. Yeah, I got I got it on my PlayStation. Okay. Alright, I'll send you my name. Okay. Alright, I'll send you my name. Alright. 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 Later.